Thank you for clicking on the video. Ignore the lost. I know he looks disgusted. Don't worry about it. Today, I wanted to try out the Isaac Champions mod again, but this time with a way harder character, such as the Lost. I'm picking up the Champion's Crown, which if you don't know what this is, it's basically A-plus type characters. Not exactly C-side or B-side, tainted, tarnished, whatever characters but more just the vanilla characters, but with a unique spin on them. So this is gonna be lost. We actually lose Holy Mantle, which means this is going to be devastating for my health, and this could be actually really challenging. But in turn, we gain Heartbreak, which is super good, meaning that we can't die unless we get full-on Broken Hearts. An Alge's Rune and a Clear Rune, as well as the Rune Bag, so I think it's clear what the game's trying to tell us to do. We forfeit our Holy Mantle, as well as our Eternal D6 for Runes. Runes being able to maybe, as well, reroll, or maybe as well like algae's give us invincibility but in a more convoluted harder way so this sounds awesome i don't think in any situation i would literally ever <laughs> Get rid of the Alge's rune with clear rune. I, I'm gonna keep these two together forever. Unless I find like a Perthro or like a Soul of Isaac, I guess. But considering the loss really can't take much damage, I'm assuming that Heartbreak is working the exact same way it always works, which is if you take fatal hits, you gain three broken hearts, which one, yes, does give you damage. Uh, but you know, the more important thing is the fact that, oh my god, I'm running out of heart containers. Treasure room in here. Isaac's heart. You, you could not be a more disgusting item. <laughs> This very scenario calls for anything but you. What about the shop though? Crooked Penny. Again, I really can't forfeit anything to do with my clear rune algas. It just doesn't seem right. But I mean, that's kind of the case if you were playing normal loss. Like you see Crooked Penny, you see Scooper, or I guess that's Potato Peeler. You have the Eternal D6. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm going to trade my Eternal D6 for the Potato Peeler. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So we move on. A bit of a lackluster floor, but it's okay. As loss does technically start with a tiniest bit of damage up. It bothers me that it's not exactly a flat 4 with 3.99, but that's from Heartbreak, so yeah, it works out. When I feel cornered, I'm gonna react and press spacebar, and this Gargoyle's fight should be over pretty easily. Let's do it. Algis is so busted. It's nerfed Algis too. Algis used to be way better. Daz lost coin. Uh, thanks for the luck up, but really not too useful. Downpour is scary today, guys. I have nothing. And I have no rolls. Um, ho ho hold on. Something to convince me to go to the harder area? Definitely not. All right, let's go. Let's just go basement two. Wait, what's going on over there? That's not right. Oh, I guess it's counting how many heartbreaks I have. Is that is that what's going on? So typically the UI would just count up up to 12, but I guess it's just showing me how much I have. So when that's eventually 12, I just know I can't take any more damage. I don't know what's going on with these items, but it's not looking good for me. <laughs> Part of me wants to get hit on purpose to get one more damage up. <laughs> Hello again. Ugh. More actives, more useless items. As the only item I've taken is a range up. All right, I kind of handled that. Very good, nice. Mr. Belly, some statistics, I'm saved. Devil room again, I have- oh! I gotta go in here. Contract from below, satanic Bible. I don't- I, do I take that? That would be the greediest, stupidest thing ever. Spirit of the Night is literally useless because I get that as the lost. The best thing here is satanic, but taking it would get rid of my clear on algae synergy. I, I I think the smarter, more relaxed option is contract from below. To, I, I, personally, I would go for satanic there, but I want to see how hard this character can really be and i want to use the tools that they're given at the beginning of the game oh ambush of some kind i hate okay guys i hate when there's like some form of ambush on downpour and it takes that long because i second guess myself i think to myself oh my god am i standing on the spawn am i about to get insta frag and then it turns out it's not the case but the heart attack it gives me is just not okay that can't just be me let me take these pills though double pills health up useless and the treasure room oh i take blind here it's okay. Funnily enough, I think if I manage to land a, uh, what is it, technology and perfection because I'm the lost, I could do that glitch where you get an infinite tier rate. Was it technology or tech 2? I think it's regular technology, mom's eye and Hyla, and you just uh, break the game. Hey, I wonder if they're gonna fix that in the new patch. We always talk about, oh my god, Isaac online. Oh my god, Isaac balance updates. But are you gonna fix any bugs? We know that's still been in the game forever now. Important to note that Tyrone has still been constantly tweeting out and mentioning that we can expect the steam beta for isaac online before december so we know it's actually really close my god i'm gonna say the 25th that's my guess 
You also gotta keep in mind though that this is the Steam Isaac Online Beta. This is not the update. You cannot expect balance patches when this thing comes out. We'll be able to test it out and they're gonna get our feedback so we can tell them what's wrong with it, what's good, etc, etc. The actual update will be coming out later. Jumper cables is so strong. And this is what I wanted, a restock machine on Dross 2 with battery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah, super duper worth it. I I'm so happy I came to downpour. So the battery is obviously strong here, not just because I have multiple charges for multiple rooms, but it does mean that I, I'm gonna have 40 seconds of invincibility in a single room if I double charge. Hey, there's a day, guys. Because it is, it's 20 seconds on algae's. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, 40. Wasn't 40? Oh, pentagram! I feel like 40 was the original uh, protection rate for algae's. I know it got nerfed heavy. It used to feel like it lasted the entire floor. <laughs> Whoa! That was a bit of a tough dodge, I'm not even gonna lie. I already saw the future, I knew what I had to do, I just could not execute, unfortunately. So right here, we get a look up, that's cool, I don't need that trinket. Okay, let's go to the mirror dimension. Important that we go here because we have that uh, restock machine as well in the shop. Here we go, we got some stuff to do here. Rolling into birthright, that's absolutely worth it. I'm not even gonna check the rest. Birthright basically giving us tainted loss entire item pool. We won't get any more HP ups or anything uh, deemed completely useless by the game. There's an extra algae there. This Rainmaker fight will actually be way easier because I'm going to pop algae once and then I'm going to pop my actual algae room just because we have an extra one anyway. If it's even needed, whoa, the loss is mowing him down. Give me that squeezy and uh, things are looking up. Let's let's leave, dude. This is good. Boss challenge room above me. I would also like to compliment the uh, design of this character for the fact that they cannot get perfection which immediately in my opinion makes them harder you know when you're playing normal lost you do three floors you get perfection unless you had some kind of dead cat start and you skill issued on basement one against a spider out there you go then you get perfection but this character uh, right now like i've just reset my perfection progress i can't get it for the next three floors because i took actual damage not mantle damage and that immediately just makes this character inherently more harder in my opinion that jumper cable is going to be really essential for me really soon. That fly was on a mission. He was contacting Alpha Control. He almost had me too. Ooh, double joker? I suppose there's no reason for me not to use one right now. So, uh, this, this is an extra joker. Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's go. Why not? Cool. That was epic. But a soul of Judas. Oh, yeah. Meow. Oh, no. I had a feeling. These pills have not been too banger this run, but I just kept taking the risk. At least we know. We have the knowledge we won't make that mistake again. Treasure room again. Spin to win. Okay, the game is actually having a lot of better fun with me. And I am not appreciating it. There's gotta be something. Oh my god! It's a dried up man! Oh, I had to, I feel. I, oh, I felt like I was gonna get hit. Well, hey, Steam Cell, that's cool. I appreciate you. Never back down, never what? I really hope I don't land this devil deal because if I do, my deal chance is going to get reset all the way back to 33. And we've already been in there and we just know there's nothing cooking in there. But if I don't land it, like somehow by God's will, uh, next floor I get 100% deal chance, something can happen. I cannot stay in that corner. Purple champions spewing out random tears. There we go. Phew, a little scary. And then this vault could have something huge. Uh, it's that, 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 not really. Birthright doing jack shit out here. <laughs> Secret room. Oh, there's something. And then it pays out. Oh my god, it happened. Okay, sick. Life regained. We take this tears up. We fight, uh, I'm guessing Chad in the uh, boss room. It can't be Chad. I have lost Birthright, so it literally can't drop Chad. Would that prevent Chad from spawning? I'm gonna say Chubb. Oh my god, it's you! It's look who it is! I could have never predicted this, honestly. I'm trying not to use algae here, but, you know, if I have to, I will. Okay, now Brimstone spawns. Ah, that's good, that's good. We did unfortunately spawn the deal, so that scenario I didn't want happening actually did. But uh, Guppy's hairball is really good, blocks a ton of projectiles, I love this item. Used to honestly be my favorite guppy item, uh, just because I wanted to be quirky and different, and I was like, haha, it's better than dead cat, even though it obviously isn't. Please! You're kidding me! I don't understand! You got a soul heart. Okay, I got so much money. It's not super greed. Come on. Deep pockets and a reverse card. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. Nightlight as well is, is actually really big. Gimme you. Gimme you. No curse of darkness. That can help. You know what? That can make it so I actually see all the shots I'm trying to dodge. That's also good. I won't scoff at that. If I had one of those... Oh, God. If I had one of those yellow spider sack rooms, I'd definitely use it there. I'm just going to use it here, though. Uh, just to get it over with, because I don't really like being in a room without my uh, clear rune algae. 
since that's my whole game plan. And if you want to be like that, then be like that. We're going to go in the secret room and just skip a couple rooms because I feel like the more rooms I'm in, the higher chance of me being able to just get hit randomly. And when you have that feeling, that's how you know you have to immediately get out of dodge because you feel like your run is not powerful enough. There are obviously factors, you know, you take into factor your own skill. Maybe you feel like you're just unbelievably cracked at the binding of Isaac. <laughs> But for me, for my skill level, and for how I'm playing this right now, and with the items I have, I want to get out of here. Uh, Sister Riz is an easy fight though, so thanks. Gubby's hairball will also be huge, because it's going to be extra DPS. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it will add up, as you can see. You just gotta swing it. Cool, was able to take care of that. We actually get damage up, beautiful stuff. Gubby's hairball going to the next floor will downgrade, I believe, one level. But it'll just kind of naturally, oh, two levels, I think. It'll naturally come back. These have been the bane of my existence. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> this is where I lose everything. And I, I, I get hit and I die and I cry. Oh my god! Monstro, what are you doing to me? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have come here. But I'm gonna commit. Die real quick. Anything in here? Uh, at least we gotta luck up. Kill this guy really quickly. Gate's really bad. Random brimstone. Definitely across the like floor. Ah, ah, ah. That, was, that was terrifying. I think we're good. There you go. Oh man, that was a bad room. You saw that final bullet hell that Gate did as well? Almost perfectly timed. Oh my god! I don't care. Sorry. I, I I need stats. Almost perfectly timed it completely with my shield going off. Well, this is funny. <laughs> Thanks for the free battery. <laughs> Honestly, that stat was completely worth it. Cracked crown dropping right there was the morale boost that I needed. It ain't much, but it's a living. Nine base damage is definitely nothing to scoff at. We actually have something to cook here. Unfortunately, I've turned off my brain, so I want to die. Treasure room? Ah, it sucks. <laughs> That's my real, like, hope for the patch, by the way. My real, like, super hope for the patch is, uh, seeing God's Flesh buffed out of nowhere. No one expected it. It just appeared on the list of most unpopular items barely enough. And Edmund took a look at it and he was like, yeah, sure, I'll make it the best item in the game. That's, that's my secret hope. Uh, I'm gonna spend all my money on this slot machine. Slot machines can give pretty flies. Uh, pretty flies are orbitals, obviously super broken, we are unlucky. You never have to be worried about those flies spawning when you uh, hit a bad roll on the slots, by the way. Because the flies that spawn are black flies, which deal no contact damage. The only flies you need to be aware of are the shell game guys. Those guys are uh, definitely malicious. 100% out to just get you. Ooh, soul of Lilith! Oh, I, I, here, I got it. I got to do something like this. Little Gertie and then Shade. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you give me Little Gertie and Shade. I have some form of mantle. And there's a luck up here. I cannot believe it. I, I truly cannot. I'm getting absolutely bonemeistered. Lost Birthright is a scam. It is not a real. It is a social construct, I swear. All right, double chest gaming. Good stuff. I can rest easy when I go inside of boss rooms because of the blanket. I'm not actually mad, obviously. I'm, I'm having a great time. I love a Good old classic vanilla challenge like this, to be honest with you. Double open these, some more bombs, some more coinage. Uh, we have bombs. Let me look for the secret room, maybe? And then spend more money. I don't think the secret room's nearby. <laughs> well, it's a challenging character that requires me to min-max, but do I really want to stay next to the shell game bigger that long? <laughs> Even I got my limits, guys. Let's be real here. I'm leaving. <laughs> I feel like genuinely this is the most afterbirth run I've had in a very long time. I know I have repentance items, but the way that it's just playing itself, I don't know, it, it just feels that way. I don't know if the vibe comes across, maybe you're too immersed in this Isaac video, but I swear it's real. Get me out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna risk anything. Let's just go. I, I at least have one Alja's use. That's all I need because what matters there is the fact that I reset it back down to four charges. Bosses are probably the easiest part about this character. I'll just clear in far too powerful. I gotta take negative. It's just a base damage up. I need it. We're at 10 now. Much better. Is it enough? Well, let's find out. Uh, can't go curse room just yet. I need to charge my clear in. Oh my god, I got confused. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It may have looked like I just stopped moving. So a part of me just focused on the host. I don't know what happened. My brain actually just shut off. I was looking at the host. I was like, man, I hate hosts. <laughs> But genuinely, that's what happened. I was just thinking to myself, God, I hate hosts. And then I just like, stopped moving for some reason. I completely like brain out of mind, out of sight. Lust isn't in my peripheral vision. They don't exist anymore. I have a 100% deal chance. What is this room? It can't just be that one guy. Thank you. You cannot beat me like that. 100% deal chance plus soul of Isaac. 
I don't know. It's getting rougher and rougher by the minute. This could be the difference maker that you never- I could walk in that devil room right now and double soul of Isaac, triple soul of Isaac if anything. And then, oh, you know, there, there you go. Dead cat. Uh, free one, GG. We're not tainted lost, so we do have the ability to get resurrection items. This is the worst room ever. Oh, God. All right, what about in here? God damn it. Wait, unless it he spawns like the quarter. This could be my prophecy. Oh, it's gonna happen. I can see it now. Forget the devil. I get that certificate and I, I I pick up dead cat and it's it's completely over. I win. We can all agree I spent all my charges on this. There's no dispute here. No no like backlash. Like let's be real. I, I just I go crazy. Yeah, let's go for it. Boom. Oh no. But again, quarter and oh, okay. That's it. That's I mean that's one of them. That's oh that's so good. I don't not pick this up. That's the thing. That really is the thing. Do I D100 myself? What a crazy play that would be. How about one more soul of Isaac? Echo chamber. Oh god. Do I want echo chamber? I do. I really do. Because I have an algis. So then I'm gonna D100 myself out here so I don't roll the echo chamber. Let's just see what happens. I could just die. That's okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, I I'm gonna- I'm gonna rewind that, cause that- that was- that was a bit of a bozo way to go. I I'm gonna- okay, what? <laughs> Uh, never mind. We don't do that. We just, we take the echo chamber and be happy with our lives, I guess. Don't, uh, don't D100 yourself as this character. I guess you just kind of die. It doesn't work. It looked like I gained health, which was the funniest thing. That was the reason I was so confused. Because I went from 11 broken hearts to 8. Does that not mean I gained HP? <laughs> But, uh, it's, uh, well, who cares? Algis moment. How is this only death? I thought we we're at mom's heart. Hello? The hardest body of Isaac run I've ever had to be a part of. <laughs> cool stuff. Ball of bandages is an orbital we take. Uh, Krampus is good here. I'm gonna pop this because even if it's a shot speed down, I need the Algis. Krampus can genuinely just tag you, honestly. Or just me. Maybe it's a skill issue. But I'm not risking it. Boom. Ab down. Uh, is so strong. And I, uh, I can't roll again. I was going to. I was going to be like, haha, but I'm going to roll again. It's just not possible. All right, here we go. Boss challenge room. You guys know I must participate, especially if it's just a normal base damage up like that, where it has no effect on me whatsoever, if we're being real. I have to see the number go up. I, I almost just got tagged by the stain in the worst way possible. Okay, who's next? Glow? Easy. Genuinely easy. The best person you could have given me. I'm so thankful. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Every single fight is an absolute journey today. Okay, what's next? Double chest here. More bombage. Don't need any of that. You guys think we can make hush? <laughs> like if I really try. Oh, if I really tried, maybe. This is 2-3 guppy, which is funny, but I'm just going to roll 8 inch nails. It's going to roll straight into treasure room pool. That's one of the best things that we could have gotten. I'm also going to give you everything. Just just hand over something. I don't even know what you're going to give me, but just give me something. I'll go down to like seven bombs, I think. Like one more payout. All right, that's enough for you. And then I'm gonna spend all that money I got on the slot machine. Cool. That was so cool. I'm gonna die in this next room. Watch. It's gonna be insane comedic timing. Alright, we're good. But I'm still terrified. Don't touch- Why are there so many spike chests? They're setting up traps, I swear, dude. It's over. Uh, uh. Every single room is a hellscape as this character. Even the ones where it's like completely fine, contract from below is actually just gonna give you a spike chest to work with. No worms, no nothing. Let's at least try and beat mom's heart. That's easy. You beat mom's heart tons of times. You know how many Eden tokens you have? Probably a buttload. Oh, super secret room with a beggar and I reroll into death certificate. Dang it. I'm telling you, dude, that spike chest is staring me down into my soul. I feel very unsafe. This one too. Look, look, look at you. You think you're sneaky? Yeah, no. All right. Well, here I go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've beaten mom's heart so many times. It's just eye on left, eye on right. Then two eyes spawn on the very top layer. Unless you kill her too fast. Or if you just do a cycle differently. There you go. And then uh, and then you do this. Except Nightlight might ruin my entire career. This might be it for your boy. What did I have mantle? Oh my god, Blanket, you're so goaded. We're good. Devil room. Uh, that's good. That's really good. I gotta take that. Oh man, I have to take it. Except I don't. 
Oh, I thought it would be dead cat. You gotta understand. All right, Black, it's the craziest item ever. Getting bumped up on the tier list. I accidentally pressed Q. Oh, well, luck down. Who cares? We press on. We're still living. It's kind of rough, but I am actually so much enjoying the challenge. You gotta remember, this is exactly what I wanted when coming in here. I wanted the challenge. Now, uh, do I feel like fighting Brimstone Ghost with a Grimace is challenging or unfair? I don't know. You make your own decision. <laughs> Obviously, it's not unfair, but maybe I have a little bit of skill issue against these specific enemies. Dude, I- I- holy moly, these guys, I swear. Appearing in the perfect direction, with the perfect y-axis, at the perfect time. Oh, treasure map. I know where I'm going. Okay. Uh, that doesn't really help. <laughs> okay, but thanks. That- that's not even worth it. Ah, oh, it's over. You give me a room with four of these, I, 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 it's actually, actually, genuinely over. That guy almost hit me with a random bullet spread right in my face. It's about to happen again. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. You know, you really put it into perspective just how baloney Shoal and Cathedral can be with these enemies sometimes. More slots gambling! Yes, I love it! What?! <laughs> I- I hate it here. What a, a terrible, awful run. <laughs> I was- that was fun though, dude. Like, if I'm being real, I really wanted the challenge, and I received it, and it was just a fun character to play. I actually felt like I really learned a lot between, uh, Room Bag and all the different runes that I got. That was awesome. Good challenge. Shoutouts to Champion Isaac. GG.